The new leader of the Quebec Liberal Party is facing criticism from all sides. It comes after he said he hoped to see the province's signature on the Canadian Constitution. Philippe Criant says he believes a deal could be reached with the rest of Canada in time for the country's birthday, the 150th birthday, in 2017. But as Tim Dubois reports, few agree with him. As Liberals celebrate the fact they finally have a new leader after months of political purgatory, that leader is taking a position not everyone agrees with. Philippe Cuillard says he wants to begin the process to get Quebec's signature on the Canadian Constitution. Well, of course, it doesn't make any difference in your life, in my life. Uh, nobody's going to lose sleep on this, but I, as a value, as a symbol, as a sign for a country, the fact that one of the most important provinces of Canada is not there on this document, to me is important, cannot be trivialized. It's a high-stakes proposition. The last time a Liberal government tried doing the same, the result was the Meech Lake Accord. And when that failed, it helped lead to the 1995 sovereignty referendum. La Constitution depuis 2017. Today, the PQ says Quiao's hope is surprising. He's saying on one hand, it is very important for Quebecers to sign the Constitution, but on the other hand, he is not able to see why it's so important and what, what he is asking for Quebecers. In Ottawa, the federal government seems in no hurry to open the door to reopen the constitutional issue. Well, uh, I think uh, people uh, expect us to focus on the economy. At the National Assembly, the Coalition Avenir Québec agrees that the Liberal leader should be focusing on the economy. It's not the priority. I'm surprised to see that Mr. Couillard expect in the near future to sign the Canadian Constitution. But some Liberals say there is one good reason to try getting Quebec's signature on the Constitution. If successful, it would neutralize the sovereignty movement for a very long time. Tim Dubois, CBC News, Quebec City.